Welcome to April Career and Money Readings. I know that this might be a little bit hard or strange times for you with coronavirus, but I'm gonna do the best I can. So that being said, this is for the majority of your rising sign, okay? Your personal situation is going to be best assessed with a private reading just because everybody's in a different location and has a different you know sector that they work in or whatever but um that's how we're going to do this so this is for your rising sign you can go ahead and watch it for your sun sign but this video right here is going to explain to you why you would want to watch career or money readings for your rising sign specifically they're going to be much more accurate for you so let's just get started I forgot to mention that um, love readings are going to look like this and if you're not subscribed that you would want to hit the notification bell and do that so that you're alerted when they come out. Virgo, what does career and money look like for you in general this month? So what they're saying is the hidden thing, um, the hidden kind of message for the month is that it's not time to move on from something that you think or are considering moving on from quite yet. Career, career in general this month and then money in general this month. Um, career, there's like things that you don't know yet um, and that there's no way for you to know necessarily. There will come a time maybe in um, halfway through the month where information is going to be available to you, but you just might not be seeing it because you're not looking for it at that point, because you're not asking. So if you have questions, then it would be a good time to ask your employer or um, to go and do some research on your own if you work for yourself to find those answers because they do become available for you. In regards to money, there is some changes in the speed in which it comes. It might come slower for you than you want, but it is going to come, okay? Um, what is there to look forward to this month? And they're like, well, this is a month where things can actually be really joyous and comfortable and happy for you. So the reason why that is, is because things can change for you, boom, overnight. Like all of a sudden, things just change in a very positive way that you didn't expect. This is like when people become overnight internet famous and, you know, um, get all that money. Like that weird girl on the Dr. Phil thing and then now she's like a famous rapper. That kind of a thing. They're like, whatever you're manifesting, okay? Whatever it is that you're moving in the direction towards, like as far as your dreams and your goals go, make sure you're writing those down. Make sure you're manifesting something you desire. And if you need help with that, in the freebies, um, it looks like this. There's a freebies uh, link down below where you can download some tools that will help you manifest what it is that you want. So what is going to be your biggest annoyance this month? They're like, you're just gonna feel kind of crazy. You're gonna feel like you're talking to yourself, like you're, like you're talking to a fish in a cup, right? Um, like you're all dressed up and you don't get to go anywhere kind of a thing. So that might affect you emotionally, but um, how do you get past it? And they're like, focus on those things that you're trying to manifest into your life. What do you want on the career front? What do you want um, money wise? What do you want in all areas of your life? This is a powerful month for you to really start focusing on all of the things that you desire so you can start sucking those into your life. What area do you need to look more closely at? And they're like, it's not really about what you do. It's more about focusing on those desires. So do you ever notice if you decide, ooh, I kind of like um, the new red Mercedes, you know, then all of a sudden you start seeing red Mercedes everywhere. But you didn't notice them before. There were probably just as many on the road. But then once you decided that uh, that was something you were going to work towards buying, you start seeing them all over the place. This is how the mind works and the law of attraction works. What we focus on, we start to notice more. So if we're focused on a certain goal and a certain outcome, we're going to start noticing more opportunities to get us there to hope help us uh, co-create the reality that we desire. So is there any other general guidance or advice for money and for career? And as far as money goes, they go, think back to a time in the past that worked well for you. Um, and think about what made you happy there. Were you able to squirrel away a certain amount of money? Like what worked for you historically? 
take those methods that you used and use them now moving forward as well as starting to manifest what it is that you truly desire now as far as career goes they're like some changes are going to happen for you um so, so as long as you're open to noticing those opportunities like i mentioned which requires you to really know what it is that you want so you recognize those so that you look for those and you pounce on them because you're not going to intuitively know when they show up you have to be alert and aware that is the key so that is your career and money for april virgo and i love you so much